What's up, everybody? This is Ecta Tech Preacher. So one of the annoying things about using One UI 7, I got the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and you getting One UI 7 on your legacy devices like the Galaxy S24, Galaxy S23, and stuff like that. One of the annoying things is that if you're holding a device like this and you want to get to your, to your notifications and you scroll like you used to do it, ha-ha, you get more of your control center. And if you want to get to your notifications, you have to scroll this way using and kind of the second hand, I'd be absolutely annoying. So let's go to and fix that, right? Uh, so what you do is you scroll down from the top and you hit this little pencil and you go to panel settings. And now you can do it either way. You can have it separate or you can turn your control uh, uh, quick panel to the left side uh, or you could do it together, right? So it's separate right now. So let's go to and target that in and get out of that. Now it is perfect. Bam. Right. So now you get your notifications like you used to right? your notifications and you scroll down twice and then you get your control center. I mean, absolutely beautiful to fix for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. I don't understand why One UI 7 wasn't separated. This is not iOS. But uh, once again, uh, it's very annoying. If you have your older Galaxy devices with One UI 7, the new update, you will have this separation between your notifications and your control panel. And if you hold your device like this and you're trying to get to your notifications, as big as these phones are, it's going to be pretty difficult to do that, which, you know, you have to use two hands. 